All right. In this section, we're going to be talking about the fundamental theorem of calculus, which is obviously pretty important, just given the title, the fundamental theorem of calculus. But before we do that, we need to discuss this concept, the area under a graph. Let's, uh, let's review real quick uh, some of the things we did first semester. Think about this. Kind of the main point of first semester calculus was that if we have a graph of some function f, that's, that, that function has a slope at any point. So if we look at one little point on the graph and we imagine a little segment of the graph, that segment has a certain change in x, and we're imagining this segment to be infinitely small, so that change in x is this infinitely tiny delta x, which we called dx, and that, that little segment right there has a corresponding change in y, which we call dy. And so slope is rise over run, so the slope of that little segment right there is dy over dx, which we commonly think of as the derivative, which is the slope of function f. So if we're given a function and we sketch it like that, it has a point or it has a slope at any x value and we can make a graph of all of those slope values and we solved problems like this if you have a graph like this that is say a cubic and you think about the slope of that at every point there is a function whose value is the slope of this function and if we call that f then we can make another function down here which we'll call f primed and this is all first semester calculus and where the slope of this function is zero such as that point the value of f primed will be zero so we can plot a point down here and right here the slope of f is zero so we can come down and at that x value and plot another point and in, in here, in this region, the slope of f is negative, so my f prime function becomes negative, and this ends up being a parabola. And all of this is basically first semester calculus. First semester calculus deals with this concept of the slope of a graph, and all these related ideas and of course all these techniques open up ways to solve problems that were not able to be solved until Newton and Leibniz figured this out. Now the fundamental concept in second semester calculus is the area under a graph. So if we have some function f here, f is a function of x, let's imagine a line, a vertical line at some x value and imagine this line moving to the right it starts over here at x equals 0 and it, and it moves to the right and as it moves to the right it sweeps across this area and we're concerned with this area that is bound on the left and right at one value and another in this case at 0 and at x and bound on the top of the bottom by the by the x-axis and then the graph of f and we refer to this area that I've shaded in there as the area under the graph of f this is the main idea for second semester calculus. Just as first semester, first semester dealt with the slope of a graph, second semester calculus deals with the area under a graph. Now think about this. You have to imagine this moving. Imagine this line right here moving to the right. And as it moves to the right, this area under the graph, let's mark this as mark this as area A, that area increases. So think about that. As x moves to the right, the area increases. And the, the terminology, the way it's often stated, is that that line sweeps out an area. So as x increases, it, it sweeps across or sweeps out more and more area. Now think about this key idea right here. That area is a function of x. Now that's obvious. If you think that x is moving to the right and that area is growing, well clearly, if you look at the picture, clearly this area, how big that area is, depends on how far to the right this line has moved. Area is a function of x. And that's an important point. 
the area is a function of x, which means the area, this thing right here, will have a different value for every value of x. So look back here to our, our previous picture. Just as our graph of f here has a different slope at every point, in this case, our area under here has a different value at every point. And just as we can take all of these different slopes along this graph and use those values to, to graph a new function, which we call the derivative, we can take all these different areas at different values of x. At each value of x, there's a, there's a, a different value of area that has been swept out up to that point. And we can take all of those different values of area and graph a new function that represents the area under the graph. And that idea, that idea of the area under a graph, and the idea that that area is a function of x that itself can be graphed, that is probably the single most foundational point for the entire second semester of just about any calculus course.